Go this time. that audio for us real quick. Did I lose the... Uh... There we, go. there we go. Nope, nope. Now I gotta, I gotta echo, again. echo again. How about now? Ah, there we go. Okay, okay. I think I know what's wrong. Well, I'm gonna get going and hopefully it works. If, there's, if not, you know, no one's here anyway, so I guess it don't matter. All right. Share my screen. Uh, 
serious technical difficulties today. driving me crazy. So, let's look at what we're gonna work on today. I'm gonna be working on this Warehouse Deals app again. So I just paired on this with CJ a little bit ago, uh, last week, and I'm gonna add some more features to it right now. So right now, when you go through, let's say, let me copy this link address. I'll drop this product off real quick. And if I add the product back, when I'm adding a product in here, I wanna be able to pull an image. At least the main image, maybe give you the option to select multiple, not multiple images, but one of the many images available. Um, so I'd like to be able to do that. And that's what I wanna work on today. Maybe we'll work on something else later on after, depending how long this takes. But basically I just wanna pull this main image right here. So I've already am scanning this page with um, Cheerio on the back end, and I'm just need to gonna just gonna need to pull a specific element basically. So let me select this one out real quick and try to see where it's coming from. So there's a main image container. I think I want to pull that one, but let's see what that comes up. Sometimes when I was scanning stuff before, this was, it had multiple elements with an ID on it, which is normally bad practice. You shouldn't be doing that, but Amazon doesn't care. They're doing it. so. Let's test it out. This will be in my scan product. Actually, that's the API endpoint. I have it in a secondary code here. Okay. So I'm gonna end up returning an image URL. Click down here. And this is using Cheerio. I basically take back the result. I throw in the HTML I get back from the request. And then I use Cheerio to use jQuery like code on it. So I want that image container, but I don't, I want to find the image inside of there. And that was all the way down here. Does that have a class or something on it? SRC. That's the image I want right there. Let me try this one and then find the image directly in there. 
Oh, there is an actually an ID on it. Let's try that landing image. I'm still gonna pull it from within the main image container, just in case there is more, I guess, but we'll try this out first, see how it works, and then we'll go from there. Uh, let me check in Cheerio. How do I grab an attribute? I don't know if it's the same as jQuery. I want traversing, probably. No, obviously that would be attributes, huh? Move and attribute, attitar, name. All right, let's pull the adder src. And let's see if we get anything back. Um, this is running locally right now. I'm gonna refresh this page. Open my console. This is gonna send back The scan results. Okay, product scan result. Image URL. Why is it base64? That's weird. Um, let's look on there and let's see. Maybe they do something. Let me just grab the DOM node and put all of the attributes on there. Can I do that? Getting data attributes. Um. I'm guessing it's doing some kind of on load thing to add the image. For some reason, it's got some base64 image temporarily before it loads. Data old high res. Maybe I'll try that one. So, using their data attributes. What was it called again? Old dash high res. Let's try that one. Data. Yep, that's the URL I want. Those quotes out. Oh! Okay, well, let's start nice and simple right there, huh? Well, should I give you an option to pick? Do they list out the other ones? Let's see here. Data A dynamic image. I'm guessing that's a list of all the images. Let's try pulling that as well and see if we can mess with it. Let's call that main image URL.
and I'll call this image URLs. Uh, what was it called again? E dynamic image. And then we'll try to pull that out. That's just the JSON object. JSON.parse that. But only if it has content. Otherwise, it's just too wonderful for now. Okay, let me see. Clear out the console. Unexpected token. Oh. Um, let's not try parsing it. Let's just return it. Let's see what we get. Oh, interesting. It brings it back as a an actual object out of there from Cheerio. I was not expecting that. Okay. But there's a link to keys are the images and then it's array of the size. Um, I just want the keys. Let's just pull those. So, out of JSON parts, let's say object.keys. Otherwise, return, let's just do an empty array instead of undefined. Say that there are no images. Well, we'll do the main image URL. Okay. Clear, paste. Cool. Got a main image URL, and then image URLs. The first one, none of those are the same as the main image one. So let me see if that first one matches. Let's try to print them out on the page. That is on my ad product page. So if there's a product scan result, let's add a label, span, product image. And then instead of an input, we're gonna spit out the product scan result dot image URLs dot map. And let's just set a width on it. Actually, let's set a height on it um, to 200 px. We'll start there. I'm probably gonna want to make a section for this. Let's see. Image list.
I just have my styles all in one file right now. It's pretty, pretty messy. Um, Cause I don't know where each page ends and begins, but let's just throw it at the bottom for now. Image list display flex. Um, they're gonna keep the row direction by default. That's fine. I'll set a gap of one rem. And let me move the images in there. These will actually be buttons, but let's just see them visually real quick. Ah, uh, there they are. They're all the same image. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's not what we want. But let's go back. Let's take a gander, see if there's anything else. dynamic image that now makes sense why it's calling that. Um, let me see if I inspect one of these. Can I pull each of those? Those are real small, but... Um, maybe they're actually higher res? I don't know. No, that's 40 by 40. That's too small. So we might just be stuck to pull that first image and not have the option Let's see is there anything in here that they might be handling it outside of attributes. I was wondering if maybe they had an attribute on it that would say what image it's gonna load that I could pull, but it does not look like it. Hey, Brooke Zerker, is there echoing? Does it sound okay? I think I fixed it. Let me just show that main one for now. Um, and I'll comment this out. I'm the... Sounds good, no echoing. All right. There was an extra config that I forgot to do before I set up and uh, that messed it up, so, you know tech noob here. Okay, so instead of image URL, I want this uh, main image URL and we'll keep that. So that should load just the one. There it is. All right. And let me save this product. Pro. Hey, scanning prices, scanning prices. Okay, so now that one should have an image attached to it, but I don't have this template set up to be changing that just yet or to showing it just yet. So let's do that, let's update that. That is on our index page. And for each item I'm showing the scan URL, let's start out with an image SRC uh, height of, let's say, 100, because we're in a little bit of a smaller space here. So this should be entry dot, um, main image URL. And I'm gonna need to check because those other ones don't have it right now. So let's just do our safety checking right away. Um,
or what do I want to show? A placeholder image? That would be nice. I don't have one. Um, I would just like to do a simple one. Let's do uh, Nah, let's just not show it for now. Oh, there it is. Let's just not show it for now. Um, but there's the image. She's a beaut. I actually want it to be part of the link thing too. So let's do drop that. And instead of just the title, let's add the image in there. And just to make sure we have it, the image available, let's do that. and check it. And on here, um, I'm going to add a class name so I can style this. Class name, product, image. Product image, I want to limit its height to 100 px and probably some more. Let's check it out. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to want to flex that, center it. Let's do that. That is index file. Um, class name. I think I already have a class named Flex. Let's try it. Boom. Okay. Um, cool. So now you can click on. Let's see if I can get that. There it is. So you can click on the image or the text there. If it doesn't have one, it looks fine. It looks a little uneven. Uh, I wonder why that is. Maybe that's part of the flexed. Maybe I got something else going on. Let's inspect it. Um. Details. Should I drop that margin bottom? This should be flex, and I should have a line items on there as well. That's probably why. Well, it's getting closer at least. Okay. Kittens, yeah, place kitten, that's a good idea. Um, the only thing I don't like about place kitten is that once you pick a specific size, it just always shows the same images for me. Uh, let me try 100 by 100. Oops, not by zero. 100 by 100, there we go. Well, that would work, but I love kittens, but I also want to be unclear that, or clear that it's missing a product image. So I might think that I'm watching prices for a kitten, which could be true. Seems like something I would do. All right, what was I changing in the style realm? I was updating item. It should have line item center. And I wanted to drop the details margin bottom. Okay, so there's just a little extra space on top right now. Where's that coming from? It looks like it's inside of the element. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just that extra space on top of it. Let's see, zero, 
zero, one. Well, let's just say zero. That collapses down pretty nice. I'm gonna go with that. What was that on? The list item. All right, back to the dot item. Uh, I'm gonna bring that back down to zero. I don't think I need to have it on there, but let's leave it there just for good measure. Okay, let's add one of these other products and check it out. So if I edit that, um, let me kill my dev server real quick because I've been noticing when I start working on my dev server, I'm not closing my database connections right, and so it just keeps blowing up the connections. And I started getting alerts from Mongo Atlas saying, hey, you got too many connections on your free tier. And I was like, what? This got to up to 400 the other night because every time my Next.js reboots, it reconnects to the database. But I was having issues when I tried closing the connection, so I, I just uh, left it off. I just figured I need to cancel this once in a while and start it again. A Twitch Saint. I do adopt. I do. I don't know where you go to buy kittens anyway. I feel like they give them away for free. It's, it seems pretty easy to get a kitten, but uh, I've got a nice little black kitty that I got off of Craigslist um, from a lady who worked at an animal hospital. And uh, she said a lot of people would come in and their cat would be pregnant. They'd have kittens, they'd have the litter, and then they'd just leave them with the hospital. So she'd take them home and she would take care of them, you know, until they're like eight weeks old and then adopt them out. So I adopted one on Craigslist from, from her. And she's been a great kitty. Everybody loves her. Even non-cat fans will enjoy my cat unless you're allergic. And if you're allergic, she knows it and she comes and gives you more attention than normal. Brooke Zerker got his from a rescue too. Brooke Zerker's cat's real cute. If you tune into his stream, you can see him. Her, him or her, I can't remember. Um, pops into the stream once in a while. You can even redeem some channel points for some cat time, which is what I like to spend my points on. cat. All right, what was I doing? Um, I wanted to delete this product and re-add it. Now that we've got our image, you know, I must say that was a little easier than I thought it would be, but I guess it was not that big of a task to begin with. All right, there's the product image. There's the ASIN. I'm gonna keep the name, scan it, boom. So the only thing is that, um, again, the images won't be the same width every time. So I would like to kind of normalize that. Uh, let me get this other one in there as well. Well, no, let's leave that out for now. And then let's fix that. So in my index, um, normally to fix that, I would want to do, I think I want to do a wrapper around this image and give that a specific width. Because if you give the image a specific width, it skews the aspect ratio. So let's say, um, span, I'll throw the image in there instead of the product image on the image itself. Let's put it on the span and let me update my style all the way down at the bottom. I'm gonna display block. Um, let me change that to flex. Display flex, give it a specific height. Um, align item center, justify content center. This music makes me feel like I'm coding in a Rocky movie getting ready for the big reveal training montage by the way we're listening to I think it's the disco radio disco station oh yeah 
Okay. Let's try that. Hi. Oh, I forgot to do a width. Um, width 100 px. Ow. Um, that went a lot bigger than we wanted. Oh wow, is that a really big image or did it blow it up? No, that's a really big image. Um, I guess I will go back to adding that on the image as well. Product image image, height 100px. Okay, now it constrains it. And it is centered. It seems. It does seem. Yes, it does. Okay. So far, it's beautiful. Um, let's add this one. I'm going to copy this link. Go in here and delete it. Add a product. There's a product image. This one looks like it might be a little wider. Let's see how it looks. Shorten this name up. Save it. It's decently wide. Okay, so maybe I should make the default a little bit wider. Let's do 140. Looks pretty good, pretty good. Cool. Um, I mean, I'm digging it. I think that's all I really need for this, unless I could grab other images somehow, but I'd rather get this work and ship it and then try to do that. The only problem I'll have is I already have a lot of products. Let me see. I'm gonna have to have my screen for one second. Give me one second here. I guess I don't have to hide my screen. Okay. Um, screen back at you. All right. So here's my deployed version. Uh, I've got, I'm watching one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products right now. So if I publish this, these changes, um, we're not gonna have any of this, these images, which is fine, it won't error out. It should show fine, we already tested that. But I don't wanna have to re-add all those products. I just want to re-scan the single product, so. Let me make it so that I can come here on the edit page and I can rescan. I actually need to add the image there anyway, so um, let's do that. Let me commit this real quick. It is T. Yeah. I like this one. Stomp in the city by Leigh McAllister, McAllister Gracie. What did I do? I added... I'll call it product image support, though we're not shipping that totally just yet. Um, we want to look at adding it to this detail page now. Okay. So that's gonna look about the same as our ad page. 
which we did right here. So let's just copy out this. Um, it shouldn't be called product scan result on there. It should be. In our product ASIN. Okay. Tile ASIN. At the image list, so it's actually just called entry. Entry dot main image URL. And I'm gonna wrap that in a check as well. So we'll say if there is one. Go ahead and do it. Otherwise, let's do, if there is no main. Let's say no image available. Why isn't it showing? Do I have to refresh this page? Sometimes the hot reload doesn't work. There it is. Okay, product URL, product image, the ASIN, and there it is. Um, let's add a link to refresh the product information. Where should I put that? Should I put it down here? Should I put it up top? I'm thinking about putting it next to this product or a little URL, URL, <laughs> a little refresh icon that would allow you to refresh the contents. Okay. Button. I've got font awesome loaded in here. So that's FA, I think it's refresh. We'll see. Oops. Class name, got some styles, button, icon, something. Button, icon only. I don't know where am I using that right now. Oh, uh, in the scan results table. Um, I don't think I want the icon only. I think I want the same one as what's on the index page up top, which is these ones. So they just have buttons. Let's just try that. Class name button on click. Oops. Refresh product info. I don't have and a form to be. I don't think I'll need that. E. Uh, let's be that prevent default first. And then, so I'm going to make the request. It's going to come from similar to what we have in here. Uh, let's copy all of this and then take out what we don't need. So I don't need to check URL. I don't need to get the ASIN from the URL. I don't need 
I mean, the ASIN would just be on the entry. I have all this stuff on the entry already, so. Don't need that. Product is already being watched. Don't need that. Okay. So. Instead of set loading, I'm gonna call this set refreshing. And let's do that up top. I already have a set loading anyway. Refreshing, set. Refreshing. No adder, no scan result. I think that'll eventually do. Yeah. I, I'm pulling the entry and just doing it manually, but. Hmm. Let's comment that out for now. So I want to scan products, scan URLs, send that, everything. I'm already importing the account. Await response, product scan results, set product scan results. I don't need to set the ASIN. Um, set loading, this should be set refreshing. I still have the set error. I'm just gonna say error.message because that would be a legit error if it happens. And I don't need to set the product title. So let's add the refreshing. Where's my error? Don't want the loading text. And I'm gonna show this right below this just because. Uh, I want it to be near where you are. Okay, so I, if I did it right, that should just console log out product scan result, which will be our latest information. Um, let me check if it's working thus far. There is the press. I want this to say, and we'll just leave it like that for now. Refresh. Scan URL is not defined. Of course it's not, because it's on entry.scanurl. My error down there, but let's... Uh... Um, product scan result. Cool, there it is. It's got the image URLs. I don't need the image URLs, I need to cut those out. But I have the main image URL, that's what I'm looking at. Okay, so that should update it. Um, scan product, I want to drop out these image URLs. Just want that main image URL. Okay, so I got a refreshing. I didn't see the icon show up. Um, set refreshing is true. I'm not using refreshing. I'm using loading. Okay, we want refreshing. So I should see. There we go. Refreshing product info. And I think I'm gonna hide all this stuff like I did on the product URL. I 
hit all of this stuff and then I'll show it again when it, uh, the data comes back. So I'll say, not refreshing. And I'll do a fragment. Let's get that. I think it should be one more. Okay. So I do. So instead of pulling the entry here, I think I want to set the entry. I'm going to say entry, set entry. And instead of doing that there, let's start with the default of it there. Pop that and then we'll console log it still, the entry. And should I keep your title? I guess I will pull the title. Set refreshing, set error, that's fine. Product scan result, I want to show that. Instead of product scan result, let's set entry to the product. And I think that should be it. That will overwrite the title I have in here. Let's try it out, let's see if I even Refreshing product info, product image, that, and personally, I think I would want to keep my original text. So let me do that. I'm the only one using this, so my personal opinion matters. Um, so instead of just product, let's set it to product and we'll set the title to entry.title. So I'll keep that. Let me refresh this page. I'm curious if the entry has anything else on it. Well, I can assure you I am watching the product. Um, maybe that's just because it's landing on that page. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. You know what that is? I think because that page, uh, I haven't set it up to pull all the products yet, so it thinks there is no product. That is why. Okay, so I got the product image, I got that, and now if I refresh it, let me clear this out. Oops, actually I want to see the entry. The entry has... I'm going to want to copy the ID over too. Updating the scan time is okay. And I want the account ID. So I want the ID, the account ID. Scans are dropping off, I think. That ID, account ID. 
I mean, it would be better to just pull the fields that I want from the product, right? So I don't screw anything else up. So I leave the old entry intact. Let's do that instead. So let's say entry, and then I'm gonna wanna pull the Scan URL will be the same. Scan UTC time will be updated. Pull that. Product.scan UCC time. So that'll have the latest time we click refresh to scan it. Main image URL. I think that's it. Um, image URL shouldn't be there. It was because of that we left it on the old one, so. Scans is separate. We don't, we drop that when we update it. And I wanna keep the title. So the only downside this way is if I add more product fields, I'll also need to update it here, but... I guess it's okay. There's gonna be something to catch 22 either way, so let's just uh, go with it. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, that refresh is not gonna work. Let's go back. Let's go here. Got the info, so I've got the shorter name here. The shorter name should stick around. Refreshing product info. Got the product image. Kept the title. Oh, the product scan does include the account ID, main image. Yeah, I'm going the other way. Let's go back. And I'll just, because I'll just want the ID, and then I'll overwrite the title. I don't need that, I need the ID, and I need the title. Because um, this way, if we update our scan product code at all, um, and I come here to refresh them individually manually, we'll automatically get all the new props that we want with our scan. So that's nice. Um, I guess it's less likely to introduce a bug this way than it is the other way. But let's go back. Okay, home and edit. Let me go home and refresh. I don't trust hot reloading. All right, edit. So the current, it has image URLs and this current scan UTC time was uh, the 18th. What's the date today? That's UTC time, so it could be, actually we recently just added that. So it's 4.43. All right, so if I refresh, and then it will keep the scans on here as well, which is kind of nice. Refresh. All right, I got that. Kept my title, kept my name. Um, I reset the entry. So the new scan time is 2732, which is same for this one, 2732. Okay, so updated the time, dropped off, kept everything else. Coolio. All right. Um, I think I'm ready to ship it. Well, actually, let's save it, of course. Let's try the save. Um, 
see my connections going up. Boop, 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 boop. Let's try something else, though. Try a little debugging. That's the production one, okay. Go into my cluster. I've got several collections in here. Okay, warehouse deals dev, and I want to look into products. So there's a three in here. These match the three on the page, the prior page. Let's look at it. Match these three products here. I'm going to delete this image or one of them, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, see if that works correctly. I want the Shimoda one. Let's edit it. I'm going to leave the image URLs in there because you're going to see how that's going to drop off. And let's drop out the main image URL. Update. Okay. Refresh, and there it goes, the image is gone. Okay, so there's no image right now. I go to edit, okay, no product image available. Cool, so this is what it would look like when I'm published on server or on production before I update it. Let me fix that little refresh icon real quick. I want it to have a title Fresh product info. Browser magic. Okay, I don't like that it's down below too. That bothers me, but let me just do a little style fix for that. Did I add one button? I'll say refresh button. Come back to my style. Um, position relative top negative 2px. One more 3px. Oh, yeah, she's oops. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I accidentally refreshed it and now it has a product image. And if I let me see if I go back home. Didn't save it, okay, good. I got some weird uh, stuff going on here, so I just wanted to make sure. Refresh it. Save it. Um. I wish it didn't refresh so I could have seen what happened, but I think it dropped the scans. And I wonder why. So let's see in the products route, when I update a product, I take the ASIN and the title, oh I just set the title, uh, which is not true anymore.
But I still don't really understand... Let me just fix that bug real quick though. Oh, that's in the index. Entry.scans. What line was that? 116. I was way off. Where am I getting that single entry from? I think down here. So I set the entries. The problem is I relied on there being scans there all the time. I don't know why the scans aren't being attached correctly. It's probably that it airs out before it loads them, is what I'm guessing. Let me try clearing them out locally. Warehouse deals, clear that. And if I refresh, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, So there were some problems there. It dumped the image. Or no, it didn't save it at all, basically. So the only thing I care to update are the image URL scan UTC time and the title. Base image URL, main image URL. <laughs> hey, cat's a million. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been feeling this background music lately, you know? Like chilling and coding. Maybe I should go with the whole late night theme. I mean, that could be fun. I do actually code mostly at night. Even my work stuff, I mostly do during, I would say, afternoon or nighttime. I just like coding at night. It's how I grew up. Grew up in. Uh, a busy home, so I'd code like 10 p.m. on because everyone was asleep and it'd be the only time that was quiet and I could focus, so um, I don't know if I would stream that late, but once it's dark, for sure. Maybe it could be a coding after dark theme. But I did start before darkness today, so great to have you. Cats a million did a cool. Uh, I'm gonna. How do I shout out? Cats a million. Does that work? Do I have Streamlabs connected? Yep, there they are. So Cats a million just did a cool interdimensional TV web app. And. Um, it looks like the old school VCR. It's the VCR TV combo. And she's playing top Reddit videos. 
I'm not sure what thread it was from, I forgot, but it looks pretty cool. It looks like you're watching actual TV. That was fun. I tuned in for that. Yeah, Brooke Zerker, I'm trying to be family friendly. I mean, I want to cuss, and uh, but I just haven't yet. Sometimes I do. I don't want to call myself family friendly, though, you know, because I don't, some things might accidentally slip. People will get pissed. Don't want to piss off the viewers. But OK, so we're pulling the scan UTC time and the main image URL as well. Um, those aren't necessarily required. Should I throw an error if, it, if they're missing? Um, it's not for now. And then I'll just tack those on here. Scan UPC time and main image URL. Okay, so that should pull my new data. The problem was, I think, okay, let me see. I think I set the product result. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want this to be, honestly, it's just entry. I don't need. Oh, no, wait, that's right. Is the problem on the handle of the form? I do only pull the title, which is fine. That's the input wise. Ah, I don't, I don't pass all the other stuff here. Okay. So let's pass the ASIN and these two as well. And those will come from entry. URL dot scan UTC time. And I think that's it. So it awaits the response, set loading, and then I update it with the data. Oh. Uh, I want to send those, but I also want those on here. Actually, it should be on there already because it's taking everything from the entry. Let's try it. Let's see if we broke anything else. Okay. How are my connections doing? Oh, we're getting up there. Let me kill some connections. So I kill it, it takes a few seconds, minutes, actually, minutes to um, start dropping this down, but you can see here that I think this is where I killed it the first time and it just dropped back down. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but yawn, babe. All right, bye, cats a million. Thanks for checking in for a second. Okay, refresh this just to be safe. Okay, let's go to edit the page. No product image available. 
Amazon refresh, refreshing product info. Now I got an image, I got that. Save, ah, broke again. So let me see. You know what it could be? Because when I do it, I show the updated product and then I update the entry. And I might have pulled, scans should be on there though. I'm dropping the scans off and that's what's causing it to fail. Let's see, updated product. It's product scan result. Hydrate break, y'all. Okay. So I think that did work. Let me see. Meaning I think that it did update correctly but it's just my front end code is messed up and it's not rendering it correctly. Oh, look at Robert's Frost. Product and product scan, huh? I think you're making that up, I'm not sure. Oh, I see. Yeah, to solve the problem, no. Yeah, that is the problem for sure, but I'm using, I'm relying on scan to be there in a lot of scenarios, so I'd rather just fix it in general. Um, that's part of my fault for relying on it in the first place, but so it did update it. It doesn't drop the image URLs because um, I'm using that set that uh, set where I just set these new fields. I'm not dropping old ones, so. Maybe I should just pass everything up and drop off um, certain properties. But I do see it set the main image URL, so that's my new value. The title, the updated title, the ASIN, which was the same as before and then the main image URL. So, okay, here's my problem. When this comes back, I update the entry which sets the data. The data is missing the scans. I think it's missing the scans because when it comes back, when I re refresh the product info, and I get it back, I'm doing the product, but I'm not doing the scans. Oops. Scans, entry dot scans. Okay, save that. And the, pro the reason is um, I save things in local storage in order to, that's how I originally set it up, but it's basically in order to um, let me delete that. It's basically to um, keep the data. I'm not using like a real kind of state management solution. I'm just using local storage. So uh, it's keeping the data there. So in the tree refreshes, you'll see, boom, there's the image URL. Okay, so the image URL is there. Let's delete it, try it again. Let's see if it works. 
I'm gonna delete that image URL. Okay, so it's gone. So now when I refresh this, it should have no image. No image. If I go to edit it, no product image available. I've got my info. I'm gonna refresh the product info. I've now got a product image. Um, and when I save that, boom. Okay. So my updated product also includes the scans from before. So cool. And it should look the same as if I refresh it. Yep. See how these dropped when I killed that dev? Some of them time out, but then it just is so many refreshes. I think it, it um, just keeps going up and up and up and up. But that's something that I gotta keep an eye on, I guess. So it won't drop the image URLs. Um, those were just something I was doing while I was testing the dev anyway, so that's okay if it's there. I'll just go in and delete them manually myself right now. But I think I have everything ready to go. I should be able to. Let me ship this up. I don't need that product scan results. Um, so that's good. That's good. Actually, do I want to require those in here? I think yes, because I'm updating the product. I don't require the title, though. Whatever, I'll leave that off. Comes a problem, it will become a problem. Ooh, is it the theme to Shaft? Nope, it's just the disco game. Okay. Let me kill that again. Start it. Get ST, get add, get CI. Oh, let me bump the version. I do that for the fun of it. Why not? 1.3.0. And I'll get add that. Get ST, get CI. Um, what are you talking about? I got a whole CSS file right here. Sorry, Robert Frost. I always talk to you like I'm mad at you. It's just something about you. Um, there's a lot of CSS here. This, it's pretty bare bones though. You mean style wise for sure. It's a prototype I would call, but it's actually working quite well. I just didn't go down the full design path yet. Kind of like starting with this black and white, super simple version until I figure out what I wanted to do. And then I slowly add design on top, layer it on top like a cake. All right. Um, I was committing this. I added um, product info refreshing. Let me push that up. And we will see that. There, it dropped down again. Boop. Four connections. It's still got a lot. I got to figure out where I need to do these database connection closings because something's yeah not working correctly. But we're gonna have to go into each one of these and edit them to add the images basically. See, refresh. 
There it is, a new version. Version 1.3.0. It's much thinner this time. Okay. Let's try it on one of these. And these seem to be the same product, but they're different product um, pages for some reason. So, refresh. It's got a product image, kept my name, save it, and I'm back. There it is. Cool, y'all. Let's just go through and refresh each one of these. This is a manual update process here. This is basically running my migrations. It would be nice if I could pick an image. Like, I would like that to be 64 in the small one, too, you know? But um, I might just do that on my own off stream. It's going to take a little bit more debugging than I hope. And I want to look smart on stream, so. And by the way, if you're wondering why my URLs are smile.amazon, if you go to smile.amazon.com, it didn't work there because I'm not signed in. But if you sign in um, and you use smile.amazon.com, you can donate a portion of your sales to a charity of some kind. Mine currently go to Girl develop it and I think I've sent like hundreds of orders to them so it hasn't amounted to a lot but I mean I think it's getting close to around a hundred bucks right now so it's a little something for them you could send it to st. Jude probably Look at that. This feels nice with images. I feel like I'm shopping, which is the idea, I guess. Cool. All my products got images. I also, uh, since the last time I saw you guys, I built this little status dashboard. Um, it's telling me a little bit of information about what's going on. Five checks in the last 24 hours is what it's saying. So we set up the scheduler with CJ last time and I set it up to only run once a day. But for some reason, it seems to be running between four and six times a day. Um, that's not set up totally yet. I, it's paying my server, but I'm not running the actual scans yet. I'm w working on that. Um, 27 checks are the total number of checks that the scheduler has run. I got eight products that I'm watching. Eight of them are unique. 48 scans. One account, one admin. And then I did a little like green, red. So if there's less than one check in the last 24 hours, this will turn red, as well as the status icon in the top right, which you saw before. Um, up here, this will turn red if for some reason the scheduler stops working. So I can kind of keep my eye on it. But, I mean, I think that's it. Let's see what else I got on my list here. So pick a U, an image from Scan. Um, these are some of the other things I wanna look at, working on setting a target price. Say you want to be alerted when a specific price comes up. Um, that's what I'm gonna have CJ come on and help me with that next time. Or I might jump on his stream and do it. Um, 
I have kind of a bug right now where I'm not including shipping costs. I need to fix that. Uh, some API stuff related to to the alerting, availability, um, UI clearing a scan, an individual scan if you wanted to do that. I don't have the capability to do that right now. I haven't needed it yet. And there's a bug where I can't use Amazon deal URLs. You could try to solve that. And there's also a bug where the cheapest product price is not scanned. Um, I'll probably save that one for another time. Right now, the stream is very specific on this feature, which is pretty cool, so I'm probably gonna get ready to head out here. And there's also a lot more UI stuff I could do, but cool. Showing product images. Feels nice. All right, let me kill my dev server so it doesn't keep any connections going in the background. And let's check out Um, let's see if there's anyone to rate. There's only a couple people in here, but let's try it anyway. I don't know anyone that's online. Well, let's look at the live coders. How do I get there? The only one live right now is Kahlo. He's on a break right now. Well, there's only a couple of people here, which some of them might even be me. So let's just kill it. All right, well, thanks y'all for watching. Um, I'm still working on this warehouse deals app. Every once in a while, I'm gonna come back with a feature to code with you guys on stream. Roberts Frost, love you. Um, maybe later this week or this weekend, I will see you again. All right. How do I kill this thing? How do we do this? Okay, bye guys.